Salam and welcome to my very first niqab sewing tutorial. In this video I'll show you how I sewed this niqab made out of an old hijab that was laying in my drawers for years now. As you can see my niqab is not covering the necklace that I'm wearing and I did this on purpose. Of course if you want to have a longer niqab you just add a few centimeters to what measurements I have given in the video. So let's get started. Make sure to pick out a fabric that is not too see-through. We are starting with a simple rectangle that is 27 times 52 centimeters. Put the front part of the niqab aside and cut out another two rectangles of 5 times 35 centimeters. These will be the strings holding the niqab. Coming back to the front part, we will fold it in half once. Due to this folding, the niqab should be completely opaque. Try this out before you start sewing. Pin down everything neatly because now we'll start to sew on the sides that are still open. We leave a small gap here and there to later put in the niqab strings. It's on the side where the fabric is folded. We start sewing with the zigzag stitch to avoid the fabric to ripple open once we start wearing it. I didn't start to sew at the very edge of the fabric but I left the gap that I was just mentioning. After I sewed the three open sides shut with the zigzag stitch, I now do the same with a straight stitch just above the zigzag stitch. The stitching should look something like this. If you have the overlock stitch, use this stitch, it makes everything easier. The stitching looks pretty ugly. This is why I told you to leave these open gaps at the side. It is not only for us to put in the strings later, but also so we can turn the fabric inside out, making the stitches disappear. Once you have turned it inside out, I would recommend ironing it. As you can see, the stitches are not visible anymore and it looks the way we would usually purchase it. Remember the other two rectangles you had to cut out? We will take care of them right now. You left these two gaps open where the fabric was folded. This is where the niqab strings belong. We have to fold the niqab strings in half and pin them down like this. We will sew on this long side and on one of these short sides. The other short side we leave open to turn the fabric inside out later. We will use the same method as before. First we will go in with the zigzag stitch and after that the straight stitch. Repeat the same on the other string. The stitching should look something like this, with one side untouched. This side we will use to turn the string inside out. Because the opening is so small, it becomes kind of tricky. I would recommend using a pencil as help.
that the strings are turned inside out, we will sew the opening shut with a zigzag stitch. Here we don't need to use a straight stitch, because it will not be visible in the end. Take your niqab and place it in front of you. The side of my niqab that has been simply folded is facing the right. These are the sides with the sewing. We take our niqab strings and put the side with the stitching down. Now we take the niqab strings and we will attach them to the front part of the niqab. The zigzag stitch of the string belongs inside of the niqab. It is placed like this. Sewing the niqab strings onto the niqab will automatically close the gaps that we have left open before. I use the zigzag stitch so that the fabric doesn't ripple open. It is okay if it doesn't look the best, this part will be covered by your headscarf anyways. Last but not least, we have to iron our niqab. This is what makes everything come together. And this is what our new recycled niqab looks like. It honestly became my favorite niqab due to the perfect length I was able to decide. I hope the video was detailed enough. If you have any questions, comments or recommendations, please leave them in the comments. I will happily try to read every single one of them. I would love to see your creation, so if you decide to sew a niqab as well, please tag me on your Instagram.